friends how are you all i hope you all are fine today we'll see standard 7th subject science in that chapter number 10 respiration in organisms in the previous video we have seen part 1 in that we have completed up to main 4 today we'll see main 5 answer the following questions in a one sentence one mark each so the question number 1 what is called cellular respiration answer is the process of breakdown of food glucose in the cell with the release of energy is called cellular respiration question number 2 what is called aerobic respiration answer is when breakdown of glucose occurs with the use of oxygen it is called aerobic respiration see the question number 3 what is called anaerobic respiration answer is when breakdown of glucose occurs without using oxygen it is called anaerobic respiration question number 4 state the chemical equation of aerobic re- respiration in words see glucose in presence of oxygen carbon dioxide plus water plus energy glucose in presence of oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water plus energy i hope you understood so the question number 5 in which cell does the anaerobic respiration occurs answer is anaerobic respiration occurs in yeast and some fungi certain bacteria endoparasites and in animals muscles in certain conditions see the question number 6 what are formed when breakdown of glucose in anaerobic respiration occurs in plants like yeast answer is alcohol and carbon dioxide are formed when breakdown of glucose in anaerobic respiration occurring in plants like yeast and energy released see the question number 7 what are formed when breakdown of glucose in anaerobic respiration occurs in animal muscle cells answer is lactic acid is formed when breakdown of glucose in anaerobic respiration occurring in animal muscle cells and release of energy see the question number 8 what is called diaphragm answer is diaphragm is a large muscular sheet which forms the floor of chest cavity see the question number 9 state the change in a position state the change in the position of ribs and diaphragm during inhalations answer is during inhalations ribs move up and outwards and diaphragm moves down see during inhalation ribs move up and outwards and diaphragm moves down see the question number 10 state the change in the position of ribs and diaphragm during exhalation answer is during exhalation ribs move down and inwards while diaphragm moves up to its former position see the question number 11 which of the measurements of chest size is more whether during inhalations or during exhalations answer is during exhalation the ch- uh, the size of chest cavity is more see the next page see the question number 12 state the percentage of carbon dioxide in inhaled air and exhaled answer is the percentage of carbon dioxide in inhaled and exhaled air is 0.04 0.04 and 4.4 respectively the percentage of carbon dioxide in inhaled and exhaled air is 0.4 and 4.4 respectively so the main two uh, not main two main six answer the following question in a sort Two marks each. Each question carry two marks. So the question number one: Explain cellular respiration. Answer is the process of breakdown of food glucose in the cell with the release of energy 
is called cellular respiration. There are two types of cellular respiration, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. See, aerobic respiration, when breakdown of glucose occurs with the use of oxygen, it is called aerobic respiration. And anaerobic respiration, when breakdown of glucose occurs without using without using oxygen it is called anaerobic respiration see the question number two why do we get muscle cramps after heavy exercise how do we get relief from cramps answer is during heavy exercise anaerobic respiration take place in the muscles the cramps occur when muscle cells respire anaerobically the partial breakdown of glucose produces lactic acid. The accumulations of lactic acid causes muscle cramps. We get relief from cramps after a hot water bath or a massage. Hot water bath or a massage improves circulation of blood. As a result, the supply of oxygen to the muscle cell increases. That results in the complete breakdown of lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water. We get relief from cramps due to the removal of lactic acid from muscles. See the question number 3. Explain breathing in earthworm. Answer is, earthworm breathe through their skin. The skin of an earthworm is moist and slimy. Oxygen can easily diffuse in the blood and carbon dioxide is given out through moist surface of skin. Thus, gaseous exchange occurs in an earthworm. See the question number 4. Why does an athlete breathe faster and deeper than usual, usual after finishing the race? See the answer. During the race, an athlete has to run fast. Body needed more energy to run fast. To release more energy, he has to increase the rate of respiration for supplying more oxygen to the cell to do so, breathing rate must increase. So, after finishing the race, an athlete breathes faster and deeper than usual. See the question number 5. Why do we often sneeze when we inhale a lot of dust-laden Answer is, when we inhale a lot of dust-laden air, the dust particles get trapped in the hair present in our nasal, nasal cavity. Sometimes, these particles may get past the hair in the nasal cavity. As a result of we sneeze, sneezing expels these foreign particles from the inhaled air and a dust-free, clean Air enters our respiratory tract. Now we will see the main seven in the next video, part three. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, bye.